very much. Thank uh, you very much. I've been watching this for many days and weeks, and I was hoping that we'll see the government stepping up. Uh, and I'm not here to decide which level of government. I probably don't even know which level of government need to step up. They all need to step up. Someone has to do it, and they'll figure it out after. Uh, I just simply think that we have shown that we are able to help people. We were able, and I'm very happy to help the Ukrainian refugee. I was part of helping as well the Syrian refugees, and we can help these people, and we can help them immediately. And the difference of me hearing in the government and people texting me saying, Mohammed is going to take four or five days. The difference, those four or five days are many, many minutes for these people who are in the street. And we need to do it immediately. And I hear the voices of the people that want a permanent solution because you have to be in their shoes to understand. If you're going to go to another temporary solution, then another temporary solution, you're still feeling in the street and you can't build the life. And you know what? What I felt yesterday when I came here, I felt that we let them down. And we need to confirm to them that Canadian dream is alive. And Canadians are not okay. We are disappointed of all the government's level that they have not stepped up and stepped in to resolve it. And that's what I'm hoping to. So when I heard that, I said, I have tried this in 2017 in December when we put homeless in hotels because of the cold. And it was very difficult. So if we can find a place, I'm happy to start by pledging to pay for it and fundraise with all our great Canadian, every single one in this city. I know our city, I know our people. You guys all are great people. And you will come in and step in and resolve it. But most importantly, I'm really hoping that government will step in, resolve it, and immediately. Since yesterday, I've been thinking about it all night, even this morning, we have to find a proper solution, and we are able to. It's political will, and when I say let's fundraise, it'll become our will as Torontonian. As Canadian, do we want to find a real solution? And by me saying that, I'm not underestimating the homelessness issue. I'm actually, this is another cause that will help us to shed a light on everyone in our city that doesn't have a roof above their head. But this one cannot wait now. Nor the other one should have waited. But we should really do something and do it all together. It's another opportunity. And look, a lot of good people in our government, they would like to do the right thing. They just, I think they need the encouragement of us watching them. And we're telling them now we are watching. But meanwhile, we can't wait. We can ask these family. I heard there was three pregnant women. This is unacceptable. This is shame on us, honestly, to be able to think about it. Three pregnant women sleeping on the street in our city. Like we, sh we can do better. We should do better and we will do better. And if you know anyone that has a property where we can yes. welcome them, yes. please help us to all the universities and everyone that have dorms, please reach out. We're not asking you to do it for free. Okay, but you can help. And if you can and you don't, well, it's shame on us. That's not the Canadian way. I came here very poor. Canadian gave me an opportunity. We can give it to these people too. And we can be serious about it, not delay it. These people are tired from people coming here and talking. They want people that they're ready to do it. We are happy to do it. I'm ready to start fundraising. A lot of people have done this work before me. And, you know, Alexa and a lot of people like Lorraine, they have done a great job. All of you, you guys have done a great job, but it's time to actually finish it. It's time to actually get a roof above their head, whatever it takes. And in this city, when there is a cause, people show up. I promise you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.